Stop using Canva. If you want the best possible print-on-demand products, using Canva to upscale your images is a horrible idea, especially if you're selling larger items like blankets or wall art. Even selling shirts could be an issue if your image isn't clear. Anything that requires a crisp, clean picture needs a good upscaler. And unfortunately, Canva just doesn't do the job. In this video, I'm going to show you side-by-side -side comparisons of multiple programs. And when you see the quality difference between them, you're going to really start questioning why you've been using Canva all this time. So with that said, let's get into this. Now let me start by saying, I'm not telling you to stop using Canva to create your designs. If that's the software that you like, that's okay. I personally like Kittle more than Canva, but that's just me. I'll cover that in a future video. What I am telling you though, is to stop using it to upscale your images. You may think the quality is good, but I'm here to tell you and show you, it's not what you think it is. I am also open to admitting I was wrong about Photoshop. If you remember watching this video, I explained that upscaling with Photoshop was a great option, and it is. But then I had an issue with a customer. Yes, I still have issues and complaints. The customer wanted a custom wall piece made. No problem. They wanted it in a super large print. Again, no problem. Or so I thought. I used Photoshop, as I normally do. And when they received the item, they were not impressed with the quality. And after back and forth, seeing the images myself, I really wasn't either. Which made me start questioning, is Photoshop not doing a good job? We already know Canva isn't, and you're about to see how bad Canva actually is in just a minute. But Photoshop? Really? I pay $70 a month for Adobe Suite, and even though I love Photoshop, I had to rectify this issue for my customer. Now don't get me wrong, the quality was good, but definitely not up to my standards as a seller. So I started researching, and I found a ton of upscale options online. However, they all claim to be free, but when you get down to it, they really aren't. They all charge you in some way. Some charge you for specific features, while others charge you in the form of credits. Now, depending on how many designs you have, this could add up to a few hundred or even thousands of dollars. Then I found a company called AI Artie. Scrolling through their site, they seemed quite promising. Plus, they offered a free trial, and you know I love free things. Then to top it off, it's downloadable, meaning that my pictures stay on my hard drive and aren't uploaded to the cloud with some company having access to them. To be honest, what do they do with the pictures? Is that how art gets stolen? Now, in order for you to see the quality, what I'm gonna do is use two different style images. These were both created using ChatGPT. The first image will be from my original AI art video. The second image is going to be a new one. It's gonna be a puppy in a pond with lily pads. I'm gonna show you the original picture I created first, not scaled. Then I'm gonna show you the canvas scaling at its highest quality. And then we're gonna compare it to Photoshop scaled at the same size. And then finally, I'm gonna upscale it using AI Artie. Also, after showing you these, I plan to show you what this program can actually do with regular style photos. This is great if you sell personalized items or customers sending you their pictures. And if you have this option, you already know that the quality that most consumers send is complete crap. However, the customer wants you to show the best picture. And when their crappy quality photo comes out crappy, they usually blame you as the seller. So I wanna demonstrate how you can avoid this easily with this program and give them something that's completely mind blowing. Now, before I show you the difference in quality after using these programs, let me explain why this is so important. Opening up Printify and going to a canvas, if you were to sell say a 60 by 40 canvas, the required image size is 18,000 by 12,000 pixels at 300 DPI. And most AI art is only produced in 1,000 or 2,000 pixels. So unless you're shooting these images yourself with a DSLR, I doubt your image or design is this large, which means you need a good upscaler. And just to show you how big this image is on a canvas before you upscale it, here it is uploaded on Printify. This obviously will not work. 
So let's open up the programs and let me show you how these compare. We're going to first start with Canva. So I already launched Canva and I have the two images here. So you have this one and this one, right? So if I go here and then I go to design, get an image right there, image upscaler, right? And then here's the image here. And then I can only upscale it up to three times because it's already saying the high resolution. Now, as soon as I click this button to upscale it, it takes forever. And I don't think anybody's ever actually noticed that before. So I'm going to time this to show you that this does, isn't like quick at all. So clicking this button, starting it. Almost 30 seconds, almost 30 seconds to get this done. Right, then I click replace and there we go. Got to wait a couple more seconds for it to actually go through. And now we're done. So now I can save this, uh, you know, it only went up 3x, but there we go. We'll jump onto the next picture now. All right, I uploaded this and then we're gonna go to upscaler. Now for this one, we can actually go up to 4x. So it's a 1024 pixel. We can go to 4x it. So again, if we click on upscale, it will take 30 seconds. So I'm just gonna fast forward this. And there we go. After waiting about 30 seconds, it's upscaled. Now I can save it and we can check it out. It's easy, but it's slow. And in just a moment, when you see the side by side, you're going to be shocked on how crappy it is. So now let's jump on Photoshop so I can just resize this image for you. There we pulling up Photoshop. This is much quicker than Canva, but after I show you the quality difference between the three, it doesn't even really matter anymore. Either way, what you do is you, image, you go to image size, and then you put the new resolution there. Um, well, first we were gonna do 300 DPI, and then from there, uh, it was, what did it go, 5376, okay? And you choose this right here, okay? You can reduce the noise however you want, and click okay, and it's done. It literally does not take 30 seconds like um, Canva did. Same thing with this one right here. You know, go to image, image size. It was 4,096, 4, right? Oh, well, first of all, I need to do the DPI, right? So 4,096, done. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna save these and go to AI Artie. There we go. And now we're gonna just jump on AI Artie and do the same. Now for AI Artie, all you have to do is either click here or you just drag and drop it. So I'm just gonna drag and drop this right in here. Then it goes through it, selecting it. And I already have this set to 4X and you have different options. So I can either make it smooth, real photo, whatnot. It's already done. It already upscaled it. All I have to do is click run and it will save it. Done. Now we're gonna do the same for the next one. And I don't even have to do anything. I can just click here and add as many images as I want and run them all and do every single one of them at once, which is crazy. Same. Now that all three are upscaled, let's compare them. Now it's time to compare them, right? So this is the original. And then we're going to compare these right here. So let me zoom in here and just show you this. Now this is already AI already here. So getting rid of this. This is what Canva looks like. And as you see, it kind of made it look like a cartoon. So zooming in here, this is the original right here. This is the one that we downloaded from ChatGBT. And then this is what Canva made it look like. So original, Canva. Now we're going to see original, and then we're gonna to go to Photoshop. So here's the original, here's Photoshop. It did make it look a little better, right? Original, Photoshop. Now let's go to AI Artie. Look at how crystal clear this is, right? So original and now AI Artie. And don't forget that this literally is three times the amount. So it's, you know, phenomenal, right? But let's just compare the two, right? So if you're going from, I don't even care about Photoshop anymore, to be honest with you. But if you go from Canva, which makes it look like a cartoon to this, you can see how crystal clear this is. Now, this is what Canva's doing. They make things look like a cartoon, first of all, right? And now here, let's zoom in on this tree. So this is the original picture that we have. As you see, there's detail in the tree, right? Now, if I go over here and I go to the Canva one, 
Canva makes it completely smooth. There's no detail anymore. Now, if I go to AI Arty, you can see the details all in there. And they actually made it more detailed because it's upscaled. Scroll down to the wheat. Okay, look at the wheat and then go to this wheat. This is the original. This is AI Arty. Original, AI Arty. Now, if we go to Canva, original, Canva. Look, at, you're missing all of the detail here. Look at these little flowers right here. See, it just kind of like, it looks like paint splatter. That's, that's what it looks like. And that's what Canva is doing. It's just, it's upscaling, but it's smoothing everything over and it's not really giving that crisp, clear picture. Now, as soon as I click on AI Arty, look how clear this is. It's, you know, and remember, this went up 3X. So we're going to jump over here to the dog one now, just to show you this dog. So this was the original on the dog, okay? And then here's comparing them. So if I go through, this is Canva, this is Photoshop, and this is AI Arty. Now, if I zoom in on this, this is the crazy part. I need to move myself just to show you what Canva is doing here. So if I zoom in, this is the original right here, right? If you look at this right here, there's grain there. You know, because it's a painting. It's supposed to look like a painting. Now, Canva is smoothing out everything. And if you go over here, it's completely smooth in that area. Smooth over here. Look at the tongue. Even the tongue is smooth. And if you go over to the painting one, the one that I created with ChatGPT, it's not smooth. There's no smoothness near this lily pad either. But Canva's doing that. Now, AI Arty, look, see, look at this. And then look at the eyes, ready? Canva, AI Arty, Canva, AI Arty. One more time, Canva, AI Arty. I mean, this, it just upscaled it. Everything looks good. It still looks like a painting. It still looks crystal clear. Now, just imagine if this image from Canva was on a 60 by 40 canvas and you had spots like this that are completely smooth versus something that's supposed to look like a actual painting. How insane is that, right? The difference between Canva and AI Arty is beyond anything I've ever seen. And now you see why I keep telling you to stop using Canva. Your quality is being hindered. And as a result, your consumers are receiving a less than desirable outcome. So as I said earlier, I wanted to show you real quick some real life photos. This is beneficial if you were to offer custom or personalized items. Like I said earlier, when a consumer sends you a picture, they usually don't send you the best one. However, that's all they really have, which means that you need to upscale it and make it look good. With this, you could just throw it in the system and within seconds have a crisp, clean picture. And your customers are going to be ecstatic because of that. You no longer have that back and forth with them and try to explain, hey, the image size that you sent me isn't good enough. You could just throw it in the program and you're good to go. Honestly, I love this program and I've been using it nonstop since I found it. And as I mentioned earlier, the company offers a free trial. They also have a 30 day money back guarantee. Now I'm still actually on the free trial myself, but I definitely am going to pull the trigger once it's over, especially since it's only $99 for one time purchase. It's not monthly, not yearly. There are no fees. That's it. They do offer a yearly option for $75, but it just kind of makes sense to pay the 99. Plus the company states that they provide free updates for life. And they give you a free video converter, which I haven't tested yet. I just got a new Sony 4K camera. I haven't hooked it up yet, so I'll test it out when I connect that. And unfortunately, I'm hoping that the 4K doesn't show all of my wrinkles. <laughs> anyway, if you're serious about your business and your designs, I highly suggest you check out AI Arty. The link is in the description. I plan to use this in all my future videos as well as my own products. 
So if you're ever wondering, hey, what program am I using and showing on my designs? Or why are my pictures so clear? Now you know why. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. You know I love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.